Here are the basics of how to start a GarageBand project. First, you want to open up the app. When you open up the app, there might be a few different ways that it pops up. The first, as you see on the screen, it pulled me into a project that I've already been working on. So to start a new project, you're gonna hit the white piece of paper on the left-hand corner, and that will take you into the files. If this pops up when you first open it, you're in a good place because then you can hit the plus sign to create a new project. If you have never opened the app before, it is going to ask you to um, look at some information about it. Just keep hitting continue and you will get to what we're about to see in just a second. So here I am in GarageBand files. Um, it also can look like this. So a plus sign is what you need. So you can either hit the create song on the white piece of paper with the blue plus sign or the one to the right of iCloud Drive. That plus sign will take you to the same spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. So from here, this is what the screen that you need to be able to see. This is all your options of your foundation of your GarageBand project. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna start with audio recorder. The biggest thing that you need to do is tell GarageBand you want your song to be longer than just eight measures. So you're gonna go to the plus sign at the end of the time ruler underneath the question mark, and you are going to click section A, and you are going to turn on automatic. That tells GarageBand to not keep recording until you tell it to stop. Then you're gonna to go to the brick wall that is underneath the date, and it's to the right of those three blocks. So I call it a brick wall because it's what it looks like. So from here, you can add your loops. When you're not in the brick wall, the loop button goes away. When you're in the brick wall, that is when you get your loop button. So when you click the loop, that is, here are all of your loops in your loop library. You can scroll through them in this big list or you can narrow it down by hitting instruments or genres. And if you ever need to clear your searches, you hit this X button to the left of instruments to start back up from the beginning with all of your loops. So for the sake of time, let's go ahead and layer some loops in. I held my finger down and dragged it over. If I wanted to listen to it first, I just tap it. Okay, so let's add a few more. And notice how I'm dragging it and dropping it wherever I want to start. So I want it to start kind of have like a layering effect. So now let's press play and see what it sounds like. I'm going to hit pause. If you don't want the ticking metronome that keeps your steady beat, you can turn that off by making it gray. So say you want to record your voice over top of all this, you still have your microphone. If whatever chance you accidentally deleted your microphone by accidentally clicking it twice and then hitting delete, you can go down to the plus sign again and add an audio recorder, but we're going to keep it here. So I have it in the gray. I'm going to move my tick mark all the way to the beginning and then to record you hit the red button. And So I'm going to go back to the brick wall, make sure it got my voice. And it didn't because I'm um, recording this, screen recording it while I'm recording. And it doesn't record both at the same time. So if it was correct, the audio recorder, it would be, um, it would have the sound waves like the loops do. All right, last thing, if you want to split clips and you don't want to have the whole clip, move your cursor where you want to split it, click it split and drag your scissors down. Now I have two sections of it, so let's just delete the other section. I do that by tapping it twice and hitting delete. All right, I hope this helps to start off your first GarageBand project and enjoy creating music.